We went to the International Association of Pastel Societies meeting in Albuquerque, New Mexico. When we got back, we said, we need a pastel society in Southern California. It's amazing that we don't have one. So in July of 2009, we wrote a business plan and we created a nonprofit. They were six years now. We've grown from three members to 100 and something plus members. It's a very welcoming and friendly group. We started from the grassroots by a lot of very nice people, and I think that's reflected in the membership. It's wonderful. It's beyond our wildest imaginations. We feel very successful. Pastel is such an exciting medium to work with, and once you get your hands on a pastel and paint, you get hooked. <laughs> it's the medium gives you that immediate wow when you see the color just go across the canvas that you just just can't replace that. I think our primary goal is to promote the medium of pastels. You know, pastels are going through a real resurgence now. There's a lot of new companies making great products and there's a lot of new techniques that are being created as we speak. We are a nonprofit organization. We wanted to foster awareness of the pastel medium among the public through having exhibitions for members and workshops and paintings. We've always placed an emphasis on the camaraderie and the collaboration that we have with each other. It's really fun to see the progress that each one of our members makes each year towards our goal of artistic excellence. We created a theme for this year to be take the next step. We have people of all different levels from very beginning pastel artists all the way to professionals and instructors. Pastel is one of those mediums that is just until you try it you just can't imagine what it's like. It's just luscious. You have these sticks in your hand and it's very tactile and you're touching the surface and putting pure pigment right on the surface. And there's just something really unique about that. The idea is whatever level, wherever you are, to challenge yourself, to move forward with your art, to become a better artist, and to take advantage of any of our paintings, paint outs, our meetings, workshops, to help you get there. A lot of people have misconceptions about pastel. You think of like uh, Easter colors or chalk. You try and correct people nicely. There's really no chalk in the pastel. Actually, pastel as a medium is pure pigment in a stick. And pastel has a dry binder versus oil, which has an oil binder, but otherwise it's the same pigment. You could actually take a paintbrush, put water on it, put it on the pastel stick and paint with it. Some people love to paint outdoors plein air, other people like to be indoors, so we try to offer a menu of activities that everyone will be happy about. We have paintings. Everybody comes and brings their own reference and works on their own paintings. And it's a great opportunity for our members to come together and work independently, but be inspired by each other, feed off each other's energy. We get ideas and inspiration. It's much nicer creating art with other people than by yourself. The atmosphere at our paintings are very warm, welcoming, we have music, it's a lot of fun. We also have uh, paint outs where we go into locations, say at the beach or at a park. You get the sunshine, fresh air, you feel free, and then it's a different kind of light. You, your paintings turn out differently, it has a different feel. We've been able to attract many of the nationally known pastel instructors to Southern California because of the beautiful scenery that we have here. We've all benefited so much from the different techniques that we've learned from each one of these master pastelists. I spend my time demonstrating, lecturing, talking about the various things and then working one-on-one -on -one individually with the students at their easel. You get some of the best pastelists in the United States to come to teach our workshops here. And many of them have been teaching for 30 years or more and are excellent teachers. My job is to be informative, a guide, mentoring, and teaching people what I know. It's to pay it forward, really. A workshop, you know, it can go be anywhere from like an afternoon to a five-day event. You're learning different techniques. Everybody has something new to bring to the table. It's about the enjoyment and the inspiration and making the world beautiful. Having all these nationally known artists come and give classes 
is such a benefit to all the new members. You're never too old to learn. My goal is that at the end of the experience they feel they've received information that can lead to better work. I feel like I make a difference. One of the pinnacles that we offer is this exhibition every spring. Welcome everyone to this year's exhibition. It's our largest exhibition yet and we're really pleased to see these beautiful pastel paintings on the walls. They've been painting all year long by themselves or in groups and then they get a chance to put their artwork on the walls. They're pretty much amazed at the variety and the quality of the work. They, they can't imagine that pastels look so good. I feel very fortunate and humbled that throughout my career I've been able to see a lot of exhibits for pastel and to have seen the caliber of the artists down here in Southern California, it's amazing. We have an open arms policy. We want anyone who loves pastel to come be part of our group. It's a great place to be. Any interest in pastel at all. The website address for the Pastel Society is pastelsocal.com. Come see what we're about.